Is it possible to automatically measure and probe the parts and locate them in the machine? So putting it into the program and the code. We often get this question uh, from customers. My name is Mark, welcome to Daytron Tech Talk. Yes, of course, that's possible. What we have to do though is we have to like initially set an origin and save it to the software. So what I'm gonna do first is I use my, my standard hand cycle, um, drive my machine around uh, with swiping over the uh, display, bringing it into place and then store that origin. We call it test and then we go into the program code and um, and recall it and then program an actual probing cycle that will be pre uh, that will be prior to the actual milling cycle so this is something we only need to do one time we save that origin, machine probes it now, we save it into the machine software, and whenever I restart the machine tomorrow, next year, or whenever, I can recall this exact position in the machine. So after it's located, I type up in this bar a name for my coordinate system, and we call it simply test. I hit save, now it's stored in my memory. And from this point on, I can go to my, my milling program and add the lines that I need for this automatic measurement. So I go into my program management, I recall one of the programs that we've run in a previous video. Uh, we do the dynamic, where we did the dynamic milling, that's where we want to like add this function. We go to edit, and now we're back in the editor. So we can quickly zoom in a little bit. So what we need is the part between export program and end program, that's where we want to work. And after the first line absolute, put a bit of space in between, that's where we need to recall the workpiece coordinate system, the WCS. Then we make a movement, so to the origin. So no matter where the machine is located, no matter where the spindle and the tool is located at the moment, it comes to that position and that's where it should measure the part and kind of override the origin. So first operation, I go down in my, in my, um, in the command line down here to coordinate transformation, workpiece coordinate system and say loading. I can either type in the name up here or I can select it from the list. See test is active, I highlight this, click apply, hit okay and now I got my load WCS name test. Part one. Second operation is positioning command. We do a save movement, save positioning. I click all the axes that I need to approach, which is X, Y, and Z. We keep 15 millimeter space in between the part and the tool tip. And now the actual measuring cycle comes. We go to measuring cycles. We hit center point rectangle, because that's the cycle we need here. We say our current position is the center. We want to probe from the outside. It's not a pocket, it's kind of like a solid block. The workpiece dimension is 200 by 85. And I can add a rotation, no matter which direction, whatever you want to choose. So let's, let's say we want to probe the rotation from the front, which is the Y direction in positive with space between two points of 100 millimeters. Set the origin, if you want to like shift it, you can type in any values here. We keep it right in the center. So here's the code block rectangle measure with all the input data. Optionally, I can now say coordinate system, workpiece coordinate system, save it and kind of override it to the memory. So that's an optional step. So for the moment it would be safe. Um, but like I said, if, if you want to like follow that position in the memory, you can hit save. But as, like I said, it's not necessary. So that's it. And then our operations follow. So let's see how this works in the machine. 
Now I've taken the part out, put it back in so it's not exactly at the same spot as before, just like more or less, and also use it with an end stop, but it's not as precise as before. And we want to machine to locate it. Close the door and from my editor, I execute the program. So let's see what happens. The tool comes to that center point that was um, assigned before. Probe folds down. It locates the center. It detects the rotation from the front side, comes back, and here starts the milling. So this is actually a pretty easy way to like kind of automate your processes to kind of um, to kind of make sure that all your parts are exactly even if you don't have like a proper end stop. If you're interested into that code, I put it in a download link in the description. If you have more questions, put them into the uh, comment line. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.